And this is gonna be a barn burner of a final. Ronaldo Jr. likes to set a very high pace. We saw David Garmel throughout the weekend attacking heel hooks, guillotines. Always looking for the submission in all of his matches. Doing some hand fighting now. We talked about Ronaldo Jr.'s takedowns throughout the weekend as well. I think David Garmo is going to want to look for a takedown too. Both David Garmo and Ronaldo Jr. looking for their first world no-gi titles as black belts. One minute into this match, no score so far. David across so many different matches today, Danny, has looked so dangerous. Submitting Rafael Paganini, submitting Francisco Lowe. Whereas Ronaldo has not seen as much submission victories this tournament. Has looked very impressive to make it to the final here, but not as many submissions. One thing that Ronaldo Jr. brings to every contest is intensity. Intensity and pace. won the World's No Gi in 2018 as a brown belt. Focused more on the Gi since then, since his black belt promotion. It's been fun to watch athletes. him take on the No Gi competitions. Yeah, both athletes are going to incur a penalty there. Now we mentioned in the match with Sebastian Rodriguez where Ronaldo hit a beautiful blast double leg. And he has been working extensively on his wrestling. Even working with the Poway Wrestling Club, Ian Dalby, and the other competitors who have been active in the jiu-jitsu scene. Some of which have even been active in the MMA scene. Garmo, another athlete who's always working on his takedowns. You can see with some of the hand fighting here and the positioning. Both these guys are very good defensively from the feet. Six minutes, 30 seconds left. Officially, there is one penalty apiece. Getting dangerously close to the commentary booth here. They reset back to the center of the mat. Collar tie for Ronaldo Jr. Trying to stay heavy on David Garmo's neck. Just about 35 seconds away from our halfway point here. Both athletes 
given another penalty. Score is still tied up. A lot more aggression after that second penalty. Garmo charging in. David trying to walk forward. Garmo mixing it up a little bit out there. As oh, Hanaldo oh, no. rushes in for another blast double attempt. Locking fingers now. Still all tied up. One advantage apiece and two penalties apiece. We did see Ronaldo pull guard in his semifinal match against Sebastian Rodriguez. See if he decides to stay on the feet or if he wants to take this match down to the mat by pulling guard. Garmo coming out of Assembly Jiu Jitsu in Detroit, Michigan. Ronaldo training in San Diego at Autos Jiu Jitsu HQ. For a duck under is David Garmo. There we go, just like you said, Danny. Ronaldo willing to pull guard, and as if he changed his mind, Ronaldo almost like he wanted to stand back up, but Garmo shoves him back to the ground. Back to the action. Ronaldo with a big elevation. Trying to weave his left arm through the legs of Ronaldo Jr. Control that bottom leg. Good evasions by David Garmo. Now a little tight on the legs. Ronaldo's trying to get his legs back in front of him. Garmo trying to drag the leg across. Two minutes and 50 seconds left. This is the medium heavyweight final at the 2023 IBJJF World No Gi Jiu Jitsu Championships. We are at the Las Vegas Convention Center in Las Vegas, Nevada. This match all tied up. David Garmo taking on Ronaldo Jr. Both guys looking for their first World No Gi title. Those black belts. This match has been very even so far, Jake. Ronaldo did pull guard but ended up disengaging, getting back to the feet where we've seen most of this match take place. Well, you know, if we're gonna look at this from a referee's decision standpoint, since that's where it looks like it's headed, Danny, you gotta think of that period of time where Ronaldo pulled guard and David was given an opportunity to aggressively try to pass and put the Ronaldo on the defensive. Might put a little bit of the favor in David Garmo's corner for the judging. It hasn't really been, I mean, no one has done very aggressive movements toward one another. There hasn't been a huge indication that someone's in the lead. It's interesting to see. Ronaldo trying to snap down for chin strap. Whenever David shoots in for this outside shot, Ronaldo meets him with a sprawl and then slaps him on the back of his head very hard three times. In on a single leg, maybe. Ronaldo trying to stay heavy on the collar tie. Maybe 
be trying to wear David out over time as part of his strategy. Just one minute left now. David looks like he has a little more energy. Ronaldo needs to be careful when he shoots in. The David Garmo guillotine is something he's very well known for. David with a shallow underhook. Now with 30 seconds left, it's up to who is more aggressive. Who's going to put their bid into the referee's minds to give them the decision? Will it be David Garmel or will it be Ronaldo Jr.? David. More committal. Oh, Ronaldo oh, Jr. Oh, my goodness. Ronaldo breaking everything with that double leg. He's back. 11 seconds left officially. And here we go. Carmo trying to shoot. And it looks like this match is going to go to a referee's decision. Both athletes put their hands in the air. It was a great run for both of them this weekend at the World Snow Gi. And we will find out who our medium heavyweight champion is here shortly. And the decision is going to go to Ronaldo Jr. He's going to win his first IBJJF Black Belt World Nogi title. Amazing performance from Ronaldo. And he gets his first Nogi World title. David Garmo, of course, disappointed with the decision. It could have gone either way. 